right, everybody, buckle up, because this deep dive is all about escaping the rat race and finally launching that business you've been dreaming of. And we're diving deep into the world of business financing with this one. Yeah, we are, but not the kind that makes your eyes glaze over. You know, the one where you walk into a bank, hat in hand, practically begging for a loan. This is different. It is. This oh. is about strategies that they don't teach you in school. Yeah, this is like next level stuff. It all started with me going down a total YouTube rabbit hole, honestly. I stumble across this video, and let me tell you, it's pure gold, especially if you're tired of traditional banks slamming the door in your face. And you know what? It wouldn't be a deep dive if we didn't take a look at something a little bit different. This one is from Smart2Go Training on, you guessed it, YouTube. YouTube for financial advice. You might be thinking we've lost it. But hold on, hear us out, because this video uncovers some seriously smart strategies. It does. We're talking about a potential game changer called the business finance suite. And honestly, it might just be the key to unlocking a whole new world of funding opportunities. They really hit on a major pain point right off the bat. So many businesses go belly up because they simply can't get the money they need to survive, let alone thrive. And that's where this whole business finance suite thing comes in. I'll be honest, when I first heard it, I was skeptical. Skeptical you. Come on. Okay, maybe a little, but stick with me here. So what is this magical suite and how does it claim to solve the age old problem of securing business funding? Well, imagine this, a system that helps you build credit, not just for yourself personally, but specifically for your business. Wait, hold on. You lost me a bit there. Business credit, like my business can have its own credit score. Exactly. It's like giving your business a financial identity separate from your own. So instead of relying on my personal credit score, which, let's be real, might have taken a hit or two over the years. Who hasn't? Exactly. Instead of all that, my business can build its own credit history. Precisely. And the best part is that it's all tied to your EIN, your employer identification number, not your social security number. Okay, now that's huge. Why is that distinction so important? I mean, I, I get it. Separating personal and business finances is always a good idea. But this takes it to a whole new level, doesn't it? It does. This is about protecting yourself. Yeah. We're talking about safeguarding your personal assets, your home, your car, everything you've worked so hard for. It's like you always say, it's about protecting your personal stuff from the business side of things. All of it. Because if, and sometimes when, things go south with the business, you don't want your personal finances to be dragged down with it. That's a terrifying thought, honestly. No one starts a business thinking they're going to fail, but it happens. And knowing that you have that separation, that your personal credit score isn't holding your business back, yeah, that's invaluable. It is. And honestly, it's something that most people don't even think about until it's too late. They're so focused on getting their product or service off the ground that they neglect the crucial step of building a solid financial foundation. It's like they're trying to build a house on sand instead of solid ground. And we all know what happens to houses built on sand, don't we? They crumble. Exactly. So this this whole EIN thing, building business credit separately, it's like we're finally being let in on a secret that only the big dogs knew about before. It's about leveling the playing field, giving everyone a fair shot, and that lines up with something they highlight in the video. So many business owners get rejected for loans simply because they don't understand how the game is played. Wait, really? You're saying it's not always about not having a good enough business plan or enough revenue? Well, those are important, of course. But think about it. If you don't know what lenders are looking for, how can you possibly give them what they want? It's like going to a job interview without knowing what the job even is. Exactly. And according to the video, a staggering 89% of business loan applications get denied because of this lack of understanding. 89%. That's insane. So this suite, it's like a crash course in speaking the lender's language. It seems that way. They break it down step by step, walking you through everything you need to do to build a credit profile that lenders will actually take seriously. Okay, I'm intrigued, but let's get down to the nitty gritty. How does this whole suite thing actually work? They emphasize establishing legitimacy from the get-go. That means getting your EIN in order, if you haven't already. Which is like... Step one of starting a business, right? Absolutely. Uh, but they also highlight the importance of obtaining a DNS number. A DUNS number. Okay, you're going to have to refresh my memory on that one. Think of it like a social security number, but for your business. It's a unique nine-digit identifier that allows lenders to access your business's credit file. 
Ah, okay. So it's like building a paper trail, but in a good way. Exactly. It shows lenders that you're serious, that you're playing by the rules. They even recommended getting listed on those online business directories like 4 World 1. Those are still a thing. I thought those went out with dial-up internet. Hey, you'd be surprised. In all seriousness, though, these directories might seem outdated, but they play a role in establishing your business's credibility in the digital world. It's all about building trust. That's like you always say, it's the little things. And this all ties into building strong business credit reports. Okay, hold on, let's talk about that. What about business credit reports? How do those fit into this whole legitimacy package? They're crucial. Think of your business credit report as your company's financial resume. It tells lenders everything they need to know about your business's financial history. So it's like my personal credit report, but for my business, payment history, outstanding debts, all that fun stuff. Exactly. Lenders want to see that you pay your bills on time, that you're responsible with credit. Makes sense. You wouldn't loan money to someone with a history of skipping out on their bills, would you? Exactly. And that's where this business finance suite seems to really shine. How so? They guide you through the process of not just building, but also managing your business credit reports. They give you the tool to make sure your business is putting its best foot forward in the eyes of lenders. It's like having a financial advisor in your back pocket. Exactly. And this is where they introduce the finance blueprint, which sounds pretty official, right? Finance blueprint does sound pretty impressive. So what is it? It's essentially a roadmap for your business finances. Okay, I can get behind a good roadmap. Lay it on me. They walk you through a step-by-step -step process to identify the best financing options for your unique situation. So it's not a one-size-fits-all approach. Not at all. This blueprint considers your business's specific needs, goals, and of course, risk tolerance to map out the best course of action. That's smart. I mean, what works for a tech startup might not be the best fit for a small brick and mortar store, right? Exactly. This blueprint helps you navigate the often overwhelming world of business financing. So instead of blindly applying for loans and hoping for the best... You have a solid plan. It's like having a GPS instead of just a crumpled up map from the gas station. And who wants to go back to the days of MapQuest when we have GPS? Not me. So this blueprint helps you figure out the best type of financing, whether it's a traditional bank loan, a line of credit, or even something more creative. Exactly. It's about opening your mind to the possibilities. I like the sound of that. But here's a question. The video seems to emphasize building business credit, even if you don't necessarily need a loan right now. Why is that? Ah, uh, that's the beauty of this whole approach. They're not just focused on the short term on putting out fires. They're playing the long game, building a solid financial foundation for your business. So even if you're not ready to, say, expand into a new market or launch a new product line just yet, you're still laying the groundwork for future growth. And that, my friends, is the real game changer here. So it's kind of like building up my business's credit score is like saving for a rainy day, even if the sun's shining right now. Exactly. It's about being prepared, having that financial cushion to fall back on when you need it. Because let's face it, you never know what's going to happen in the business world. Tell me about it. One minute you're riding high, the next minute you're, well, you're looking for financing. And wouldn't you rather have options, have lenders knocking on your door instead of the other way around? That's the dream, right? But, okay, let's talk about the why for a second. Mm -hmm. What makes business credit so powerful? Is it really that different from personal credit? Think of it this way. When you build business credit, you're essentially creating a financial fortress around your personal assets. Okay, I like the sound of that. A fortress, huh? So my personal credit score, my personal finances, they're safe and sound behind those fortress walls. Precisely. Your business credit score becomes its own entity mm -hmm. separate from your personal credit history. So even if my personal credit score isn't exactly stellar... It doesn't matter. Okay, not that it's bad, but, you know, life happens. Okay. It does, and that's the beauty of this. You can still access the funding you need to grow your business, even if you've made a few financial missteps in your personal life. That's a game changer for a lot of people, I'm sure. But let's get real for a second. Is this all really legit? I mean building a whole separate credit profile for my business, accessing all these funding options, it, it sounds almost too good to be true. I get it. The skeptic in me wants to know the same thing. Right. It's like, what's the catch? Well, the video does emphasize that this is a proven system, and they claim to have helped over 10,000 businesses obtain corporate credit 
using this method. 10,000, okay, that's a lot of businesses. That's not just a coincidence. Exactly. And they even feature testimonials from real business owners who have used this system to secure funding and achieve their dreams. Social proof. Nothing like hearing it straight from the horse's mouth, or in this case, from other entrepreneurs who've been there, done that. Right, of course, as with anything, it's always a good idea to do your own due diligence. You know, research, ask questions, make sure it aligns with your specific situation. Absolutely. Don't just take their word for it. Look into it yourself. But the underlying principle, the idea that you can build business credit separate from your personal credit, that's not some made up internet scheme. It's a legitimate strategy that can unlock incredible opportunities. So it's not just about getting that one loan, it's about opening doors that you didn't even know existed. Exactly. Imagine having access to major retailers like Amazon or Home Depot, being able to secure fleet credit for your vehicles, even qualifying for cash credit cards, all under your business's EIN, building its credit history independently. Wait, hold on, back up a second. Are you saying that I could potentially finance a bulk order of inventory or maybe even buy a new delivery van without touching my personal credit? That's exactly what they're saying. It's about leveling the playing field, giving small business owners the same opportunities as the big guys. That's incredible. It's yeah. like it's like having a secret weapon in the business world. It's about having options, about being in control of your financial destiny. And it's especially powerful for entrepreneurs who might have faced roadblocks with traditional financing due to a less than perfect personal credit history. It's like this whole time there's been this secret club of entrepreneurs who knew about this, but they weren't letting anyone else in on it. And now, thanks to this video, we're finally getting a glimpse inside. And it's about time. For too long, business financing has been shrouded in mystery, but this video sheds light on a better way, a smarter way to build a successful business. It makes you wonder why this isn't talked about more. Why isn't everyone shouting this from the rooftops? I think it's a combination of things. Lack of awareness, for one. Mm. A lot of people simply don't know that this is even an option. And for others, it might be a mindset shift, you know? We're so used to thinking about credit in personal terms that we forget that our businesses can have their own financial identities. It's like we're programmed to think small, to stay in our lane. But this video, it's like a permission slip to think bigger, to dream bigger, to build something truly extraordinary. Absolutely. It's about breaking free from those limiting beliefs and stepping into your power as a business owner. And they touch on something else really important. Building business credit early on, it's not just about the here and now, it's about setting yourself up for long-term success. Precisely. It's like planting a seed. That initial investment of time and effort, it might seem small, but over time, it grows into something much bigger. It's like that saying, the best time to plant a tree was 20 years ago, the second best time is today. Exactly. Don't wait until you're in dire straits, scrambling for funding. Start building your business credit now, even if you don't think you need it immediately. So how does this business finance suite thing actually help you achieve this? Is it like a magic wand you wave and poof, you have perfect credit? I wish it were that easy. No, but in all seriousness, they provide you with the tools and resources to make the process as painless as possible. So no magic wand, but they give you the next best thing. Exactly. Think of it like this. They break down this seemingly complex world of business financing into manageable, actionable steps. They guide you through the entire process from establishing your business credit to managing your business credit reports and everything in between. It's like having a financial advisor on speed dial. Exactly. They offer templates, scripts, you name it, to help you navigate the system effectively. They want to empower you to take control of your financial future, to not be intimidated by the process. And that's something I think a lot of entrepreneurs struggle with, right? That fear of the unknown, that feeling of being in over their heads when it comes to finances. This suite, it's like it takes all that away. It gives you the confidence to make smart financial decisions for your business, to pursue your goals mm -hmm. without being held back by lack of knowledge or resources. It's like they're saying, hey, we've got your back. We're here to help you succeed. And that's a powerful message, especially for someone who's just starting out on their entrepreneurial journey. Absolutely. It's about creating a community of support, a network of entrepreneurs who are all striving towards the same goal, building successful, sustainable businesses. So it's like instead of just giving you the fish, they're teaching you how to fish. Exactly. They're giving you the tools and knowledge to feed yourself, financially speaking, for years to come. Which, let's be real, is way more valuable than just a one-time handout. Absolutely. It's about long-term sustainability, about building a business that can weather any storm. 
So for all the aspiring entrepreneurs out there listening, maybe feeling a little overwhelmed by all this information, what's the one thing, the most important takeaway from all of this? Where do they even begin? Honestly, if they only remember one thing from this whole deep dive, it should be this. Be proactive. Don't wait until you're desperate for funding to start thinking about business credit. Yeah, it's kind of like you don't wait until your car breaks down in the middle of nowhere to start thinking about car insurance. Perfect analogy. Yeah. It's about having that safety net in place before you need it. Because, let's face it, in the business world, things can change in a heartbeat. That they can. And it's much better to be prepared than caught off guard. So much better. So start building your business credit now, even if you don't think you'll need a loan for the next year or two years, even five years. Trust me, you'll thank yourself later. It's like planting a tree. The best time was yesterday, but the second best time is right now. Love it. So this deep dive, it's not about scaring you straight or anything like that. It's really about empowering you. It is. It's about giving you the knowledge and the tools to take control of your financial destiny. Exactly. It's about understanding that you have options. You don't have to play by the traditional rules of the game. You can create your own path, build your own financial fortress. And it all starts with a simple shift in mindset. It's about moving from, I need a loan, mm -hmm. to how do I build a financially strong business that attracts opportunities? It's about thinking bigger, dreaming bigger, and knowing that with the right knowledge and strategies, anything is possible. Couldn't have said it better myself. And on that note, folks, we're going to wrap up this deep dive into the often confusing but ultimately empowering world of business financing. Remember, knowledge is power. And in the business world, financial knowledge, that's the key to unlocking your full potential. And who knows? Maybe this little deep dive has sparked an idea or two. Maybe it's given you the confidence to finally take that leap and chase those entrepreneurial dreams. Because that's what it's all about, isn't it? Taking that first step, even if it's just building your business credit and seeing where the journey takes you. Until next time, keep learning, keep growing, and keep those entrepreneurial dreams alive.